Hey guys, so just as a follow up, last night um, I got in to Shaker Campsite at about 9 o'clock but I walked 30.3 miles which is epic, so super pleased with that, so I decided to give myself a little lie in. I've got to walk about a mile and a half to get some resupply so that's pretty good. It's now 7, what time is it? Time is 7.35, it is Monday 14th of August. Uh, it's time to get out of the tent, get up and get dressed. It's a little chilly, but it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna get moving. I also just wanna quickly show you my knee. Um, this is from one of the falls that I had. Oh, hold up. Yeah, pretty nasty. Uh, but feet are, feet are good. Um, yeah, ankle's good. It's just the knee is uh, a bit painful. Hey, hey, just wanted to quickly show you where we are, what we're doing. So this is uh, yesterday. We're currently here. We're going to be following the black line. Um, going past the, well, that black line is the Appalachian Trail. Going through Cobble Hill. These are views, boo-boos. Then we're going to come out to Jerusalem Road. Now, I think this is where I can get a little bit of mini resupply. And then we'll come back and carry on. So let's carry on guys. Our first view this morning. Beautiful plants. Lots of trees. Ooh, hello Massachusetts. You are very beautiful. I'm also loving these pathways because there are like no rocks. Oh thank goodness. So it's giving my feet a little break, which is awesome. Right, whoopsie. Woo, off the trail. <laughs> okay, here we go. Trail, stand, snacks and soda, boom, just down the road, so close, I love it. So I'm going to see how much of a resupply I can do here, because I don't have that much food left. I mean, I've got enough, I can get myself to Dalton, but I need more because you know, bashing out 30 miles, that's insane, and not, I need to eat more, <laughs> I'm just not, I am eating a lot, like at the moment, I'm probably spending about every day it's probably costing me about twenty dollars a day to and that's not enough so i'm just spending so much money on food i never even budgeted for this amount of money just on all of the protein bars and everything else that i'm eating okay let's go check it out what is this is this it ah in the fridge okay so it's an armor system we can do that oreos crisps boom Eggs, I can't really do anything with eggs. This is what I need. Okay, right, I'm gonna backpack off and get some food. I'm gonna have a bottle of with me. So we are just on the shore of Upper Goose Pond and how sweet is this? Thank you very much for gi your gift to ensure that these lands would remain a wilderness preserve. Ah, oh, very nice. Yes, yeah, so we're just walking by the side of a pond. Upper Goose Pond, there it is. You can see that. Relatively flat. About 2.4 miles to go to get to the next checkpoint, that's well, my next checkpoint, which is the US Route 20. Woo! <laughs> okay. Made it to US 20, Appalachian Trail, back it. Woo! Okay. Oh, another mini section done. Let's keep on moving. As long as I can find the trail again which I'm going to assume is this way. Come on, white blaze, show me the way. Some of the next goals we're going after. Pittsfield Road, October Mountain Shelter, Cawood Shelter. Yeah, lots to do. Lots and lots of miles to do, people. Woo! 
back up mountain. Another, another climb done. Oh, I've got to keep on going. We keep on moving. Can't stop. If I stop, I'll seize up. Ah! Guys, I know this looks uber dodgy, but this is the only way that I can filter my water. I'm basically sitting on it because my my hands. I, I can't. Hold on. Basically, I can't really move my hands. Like um. Wait one second. So like, my hands because I've been gripping the poles for so much I don't basically don't even have like the grip strength to like squeeze the soya um and so it's just taking me like 20-30 minutes to filter like one bag just because I'm having to squeeze it so hard I've tried like squeezing my hands and this is basically sitting on it is the quickest way for me to filter the water but go do what you gotta do hey tribe how we doing I'm gonna film this now otherwise it's gonna get too dark so the time is seven o'clock I've just made it to a road which is basically 1568 I sorry 63 I've got to get to 1568 so I've got five miles to go I've got a hill to climb going up to elevation 2050 and then after that it is a downhill 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 and that's gonna take me into Dalton one of the reasons I'm so desperate to get to Dalton is my battery pack has basically run out out. so therefore I won't be able to charge my GoPro, I won't be able to charge my iPhone and obviously have my music, my podcast and I also take photos of my, and have my map and everything. So five miles to go, not sure how long it's going to take me just because I don't know what the train is going to be like. I'm going to smash out the hill as quickly as possible um, but yeah it's, it, I'm hoping it's all downhill and I'm hoping it's smooth. Um, but yeah, like please, please with progress made today. If I can, if I can get to when I get to Dalton, that'll be like another 30 mile day. So that's another total big tick in the box. That'll be 30.3 yesterday, 30 odd miles today. It's good, it's good, it's good. All right, I'll try and keep you updated. Otherwise, um, I'll give you an update tomorrow morning. All right, speak to you in a bit, bye. The hill has been climbed. Warner Hill, 2050. Should now be all downhill from here. <laughs>